Hi everybody! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back guys. My name is Abby of course. And my name is Gijo. And we are Mr. and Mrs. Anibalo. Anibalo. So if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you've already been a part of our team, our family, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a more serious video. Yeah, it's a topic that has been requested. Yeah, thank you so much to Christina for giving us yeah, this shout idea. Shout out to Christina, thank shout you very much. Shout out to you and your beautiful family. I'm gonna answer a few questions today and it's about questions interracial couples get asked. Yeah, yeah there are a lot of people around the world that uh, together but they have different or cultures. We are doing this video so that other people who are in interracial relationships can yeah. get you know, some sort of motivation, some exactly. kind of like, oh, I can kind of relate to that. I definitely would want to reach all of you guys. We're sure that some of these things maybe you don't relate to, maybe it's different for you. So let's just see, we're gonna let you guys know. First question, how does your family feel about you dating somebody from a different race? Oh this my. is a very interesting one. You can go first. Should I start? Yeah. If I talk personally uh, about my family, it was actually very normal. Uh, regarding my family, they accept her uh, since the first day. Since I was a kid, they taught me it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you like, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter which kind of uh, language you talk, you always need to love. My family always taught me to uh, respect others in base of the language, in base of the color of the skin, in base of the religion. So when I introduced my wife to them, they absolutely accept her because of course they accepted for who she is. Actually they prefer her to me. So that's kind of, that's that's kind of uh, funny, but yeah, no, they love her, and uh, so I never had any problems. So on my end, um, honestly, I come from a family that has all different kinds of cultures. You know, my mom's very open, she's a lovely person. Amazing. So when I mentioned that I was dating, they're obviously they're gonna ask me, okay, where is he from, what's he like? So yeah, they did ask to know, but it wasn't like, oh, really? Like, why? Or we don't feel comfortable. It no. was just like, okay, let's just know him and see where it goes from there. It was actually funny because my mom, she like this. She's like, okay, uh, is he black? Why? I'll just say, okay, he's white. And she's like, oh, cool. And then my dad gonna make a joke out of everything. So he'll say like, dad is the best. <laughs> like he always has know somebody who's Italian or dates this person or that. So it's cool. Everyone is just pretty cool. Yeah. So we were lucky that yeah, question. So the next question is, would it be easier to date your own race? Like, do you feel like it would be easier? Probably in some senses it would be easier because you won't have to explain certain things. Yeah, I guess. But then yeah. it kind of boils down to actual connection. Yeah. Maybe not because everyone's different. I think it really comes down to getting to know each other anyway. Even if exactly. there's differences, even if it's someone who's the same race as you, chances are you might have a lot of things that are different. Maybe you were brought up differently. So I don't think it's comp like right off the bat yeah it's way easier uh, i wouldn't say it's easier uh, to date my own race uh, of course we encounter some uh, difficulties that won't make me feel that it would be easier for me to date someone of my same race right so. next question okay so this question is think of your children do you how do you feel do you think they're gonna get bullied in the future mm. Well, um, to be honest, no, uh, they're gonna be my kids. I will teach them to be strong that, uh, you know, we both have strong minded, you know, like good ego. So we definitely gonna teach them that this is not something that yeah, you, can, you can touch them in a bad way. A lot of kids get bullied in school or they get asked questions. 
as long as we teach them and we show them that they're loved, they'll be okay because in life you face challenges anyway. And you know, I see with the way the world is going, hopefully, people are more open. They'll be be more accepting. So there, I feel like there's hope. We just have to be there for them. To teach is to be proud of their race. Yeah, and to be honest, that that in itself is a bit touchy too because I know people who are biracial present themselves as though they're better than other people. Yeah. I don't want them to be like that Fantastic. though. They're gonna face some people who don't like them, but that's like anybody else. We just have to love them and I teach them to exactly. love other people. And if more people do that, things will be a lot better in this world. So. <laughs> okay, next question. Next, next. Are you worried about stereotypes? Well, personally, uh, not really, to be honest, because yeah. something that it doesn't touch me at all. Uh, again, I am a strong-minded, so strong. it doesn't bother me. It is what it is at the end of the day. You just have to like not let things bother you sometimes. Yeah, maybe you might feel a bit stressed or annoyed. It's more yes. being annoyed. Like, why are you even bothering me? Like, people will say stuff like, oh, you, he must be rich or something. Or like, because he's white. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, oh, I, I try not to let these things bother me, to be honest. Yeah. I'm not going to say they don't affect me sometimes. But on a whole, I'm just like... They don't really know who we are. I don't know who they are. Like, I could even understand if there are people that probably, like, especially happen with the uh, older people that maybe back the days that wasn't allowed and now it's allowed. So for them, it's like a new thing, you know, like, see a uh, couple that have different races. So at the end of the day, we just need to be happy with ourselves. I accept our relationship. I accept her. I'm happy with her. So. I actually don't care about what stereotypes other people say about us because I'm convinced I'm 100% Okay, next question is don't you feel frustrated about not being able to express yourself uh, in your own language? Nah, I mean like I'm not frustrated to don't talk my own language Of course, I could probably express myself but since I was 18 I've been always speaking English because again, as you guys know if you know watch this video i've been uk in london so i was been like communicating english and uh, I and you're pretty good to be honest not, i mean like i can improve <laughs> but uh yeah i love other cultures so for me speaking another language is fascinating so to be honest is it frustrating for me no maybe sometimes if you don't know what i'm talking about but it's because we just have to learn yeah like maybe even because you were living in the UK, there's different slangs. So sometimes you'll say something, I'm like, what? We don't say that here. Yeah, even with Italian accent. So it's a mix of a <laughs> yeah, English, so, London slang. Yeah, there is a bit of a little barrier communication issue. But to be honest, it's not no, that bad. It's, when Absolutely you love not. someone, you want to learn. You want to exactly. like, just, it doesn't even matter. Like It's the motivation to learning something new. Exactly. Uh, it's amazing. So it's not frustrating. No. And I want to learn Italian, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, she's actually learning very well. Definitely better than my English, so you can definitely learn. We're both... Quick. No, your English is way better than how I speak Italian, because you no. actually are speaking uh, English. No. Can I hold a is full this sentence? English? Uh, nah. Anyway, you're okay. good. This one. Yes, you guys. Wow. This one's very... I got stressed just thinking about it. It... Do people stare at you when you go out on dates or when you go out in general in public places? Yes! All the time. Okay, let me All stop. All the time. So, yeah, people stare sometimes because they're just like, oh, so cute, interracial, whatever. And they're like, he looks so handsome. They look so good together. Yeah, they're, they're a cute couple. Exactly. Like, we've had experiences where we were like, at, let's say there's a place called Bulk Barn. If mm -hmm. you live in Canada, you probably know. It's a place where you can get like different food items, very small, or it's like a wholesale kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know how to describe Bulk Barn, whatever. We had the best experience there with these two workers. They're like, oh, you guys are yeah. so cute together, that whatever. Nice. Yeah. Like you guys just met. Nice. So yeah, we get stairs and we notice when we go out to restaurants and whatnot, people do look, they're like, hmm. 
and then there's the bad. The bad. The good. And it's usually old people, <laughs> to be honest. It's not yeah. like young people. It's like old people that just look at you like, what's going on here, you know? And they're like shaking. But yeah, people stare. We know what we want, so it doesn't affect us. Especially our experiences uh, with uh, older people. At the end of the day, what you gonna say to all the people? You start to argue, or you start to say, well, again, there are people that probably uh, never experienced because back in the day, they couldn't be together with another. Or they're just experience. stuck in their stupid way. And they start, yeah. So, you know, of course, people looking at us, it's not something that it will put us down or like, no, head together. You know, we are strong and we Definitely. will always support each other. And with the love, you know, we always gonna go moving forward. You know, Definitely. everything that tell us, you know, come inside here and go outside here. Or how could you say, just like, slide on me, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Next I don't question. Care. <laughs> Did you only date white people, white girls? No. Okay, guys, I, been, I like people for who they are, not for the race or anything. And then, as I said earlier, I love different cultures. So I've been with person from people from all around the world. So yeah, that's the past now. <laughs> that's the past. <laughs> you see, I shouldn't say that. But yeah. That's the past now. We don't need to talk about that. Yeah. Look, no, yeah. I didn't just date whatever. Just let's just leave that hey, question I know that. alone. I always been uh, dated her. Next question. Are you comfortable with talking about race issues? Yeah, hmm. we are. Yes, I am, but sometimes I'm just like... No, I think it's just a personal thing where I just get frustrated. You see me when, yeah. I, when this whole thing was happening. It's still happening in America, and I'm just like, I yeah. can't do this anymore. Or like... It's, I don't feel awkward, that's for sure. We talk about everything. Exactly. Like, if something's bothering me when it comes to like the injustice or the violence against black people i'm i talk about it so i'm not uncomfortable to talk to him no, or talk absolutely. to you about it we are very open and the thing is like we agree on most of everything i believe also you you are not scared to tell me like what are your thoughts like or whatever like you want to yeah, say i'm not scared at all i'm just saying because at the end whatever. of the day we are very similar so we support her whatever she she say so and you're very you're good because you're aware maybe it would yeah. be frustrating and uncomfortable if you were someone who's like what yeah i didn't know that was happening in exactly. the world for exactly. like so many years yeah like slavery what's that like if you no, were sure. like that i'd be like okay i can't do this sorry i know what's happening let's say in italy how it's different yeah with depending if you're from the north or from where you're exactly. from the south so it's everywhere and we're able to talk about it's, stuff it's, with each other. It's everywhere. Uh, it's not just like here or there. It's everywhere, you know. Yeah. But we always agree on everything we say. Like uh, Even we if we don't agree on something, but it's still nice that we're able to talk yeah, to Yeah, because each other. at the end of the day, it's confrontation. Uh, but it's never been like... It's not never bad argue. confrontation. Yeah, don't never get argue, us wrong. Never it's, like, it's like... No. Yeah. We're pretty good together. No, we're good exactly. at talking. So it's kind of refreshing. Because I know, exactly. you know, sometimes people might be afraid to talk to their partner because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, they're going to think I'm annoying because I'm I'm worried about what's happening here or exactly. I, they're not going to understand me. You know, that can be tough. And I feel like if you're going through a situation like that, it's not healthy. It's not good if you feel like you can't talk about things. Mm -hmm. It's so. true. No, you need to be able to talk about everything, you know. Uh, and we do. Sometimes we, uh, most of the time, we agree sometimes no but at the end of the day we always try to find a solution you know that would be common for the both of us so yeah the, the message that you want to give is that it doesn't matter which religion you believe where are you from what's your color of the skin like at the end of the day as long you are good with the person as long as you love that person nothing comes after so this is what we want to say to everyone that is following us is to give this message you know like yeah. we are from different different cultures by the end of the day we love each other we for who we are and i want people also around the world that that as well so and also people that don't feel secure
to be strong definitely you are not alone exactly well said really yeah. well said you guys main message here is to be strong exactly listen to your heart exactly. you don't need to copy other people too and uh, this is not a trend i feel like you just need to be true to yourself and you know learn from each other exactly and then for me it's like there is nothing better than be with someone and know their culture their way you know so for me it's, it's super interesting and super nice so i believe that you shouldn't be afraid afraid of what other people say it's not important because what is important are your feeling and what you think if you want to see more videos like this let us know too of course we are very happy to share our experience what's our thoughts because it's something that it touches personally so thank you so much for thank watching thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit the bell button so we will always be updated in every video that we made and again be strong thank you for watching be strong and we will be always here to listen to you to support you anything you want just let us know we let love you know. and thank you again to be part of our family thank you, guys. and hopefully more people will come to join us see ya. ciao guys ciao.